One Michigan couple had only days to save their home. That's when they figured out how to rewrite their story. In the summer of 2012, Jack and Jacinda Wilder and their five children were deep in a financial crisis. Clipping coupons for, for a day, every yeah. Day. You were living week to week. We were living day, day to day. day. <laughs> their youngest son had contracted a virus. Jack was forced to leave a teaching program to care for him. Jacinda, a music and theater teacher, saw her income cut when a school program was canceled. How close did you come to losing this house? Probably about 30 days. What were you thinking at that point? <laughs> what are we going to do? Because you can't really show up at someone's house, even our parents, with a family of seven. Right. Like, can we sleep on your couch? You know, <laughs> it was pretty scary. It was very scary. That's when Jacinda started researching self-publishing. She and Jack, an English major, began reading every book on the bestseller list to understand what readers wanted. The blockbuster Fifty Shades of Grey caught Jacinda's eye. So I decided to go up in my room and just kind of figure out to write a story that was kind of similar but I identified with. She called it Big Girls Do It Better. Her subject? You know, women that weren't the perfect woman, that were your everyday woman that were in these compelling love stories. Literally, we hit the button to publish, and I think that first day it sold like 500 copies yeah. in 24 hours. And I was like, I think I might be onto something here. So we just started writing like mad, and I think in, what, like six months we put out 20 titles or yeah. something. We just 20 titles? Yeah. We decided we weren't going to leave our house. I think we showered three times. <laughs> they quickly earned them enough to meet their $1,200 monthly mortgage payment as their self published romance ebooks started picking up buzz on the internet. Some of the books you write are kind of steamy. Oh, they're very steamy. And you two met in a Bible study group. Yes, we did. <laughs> were you concerned at all that some people might? Oh, they were. Absolutely. They were. Oh, yeah. Jack, the son of a minister, says they do have standards. The sex can't be empty or casual, but. Real life is messy. Real life doesn't happen in biblical, you know, sense. People meet, they swear, they make love, they get angry <laughs> at each other. Right. And we write that. Right. With each book, their sales have climbed higher. Then, this spring, a romance called Falling Into You, about a girl whose first love dies suddenly, shot onto the New York Times bestseller list. Jacinda was out driving with her kids the day it hit number one on Amazon. Uh, I was crying, like hysterically. You she know? called me unintelligible. I couldn't understand what was going on. I said, you have to slow was, down yeah. and tell me in short sentences what <laughs> happened. I am like, the Wilders asked us to use their pen names because they've been overwhelmed by the success. Already, they've sold more than a million ebooks. And you've done this almost all with word of mouth. Almost totally word of almost mouth. Almost entirely. That's extraordinary. We don't have marketing teams. We don't, it's, it's us in the basement. Jack and Jacinda live simply outside Detroit. They did buy a new playset for their kids. New that park. was one of the big things that, you know, we splurged on. How often do you think about that moment when you almost lost your house? A lot. I think every night before we go to bed and we're saying our prayers, that comes in our mind because um, we're very grateful and we're humble and we know what a miracle this is. Where do you go from here? That's a good question. Write more books. Write more books. <laughs> yeah. Sell go back down books. to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, they've got a trilogy nice. coming out soon, so uh, they're still busy, and they're still that one of their books ended up on the Amazon Kindle list of the top selling books of the year. So what happened to them after their? After well, their actually, story, they got know? so much attention from this story and their block, they figured they had to move, and so they so they have finally moved, and they stayed in that house for quite a while, and they're just you know they're trying to capitalize on on momentum they've got, which is enormous. It's, what is their new address? I can't. <laughs> So maybe we want to go there, too. I love the thing, though, Anthony, that says sex can't be empty or casual. Casual, yeah. What is empty sex? <laughs> or, or it over here on Broadway. I came in on a New Year's Day to answer that question. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what empty sex is. I thought maybe you could help I me. I thought you'd know better than me. I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm sorry. Oh, Nora, it's I'm getting hot in here. <laughs> I'm sorry.
story. I might, this is in the world my, according to Gail, I don't believe in casual sex. <laughs> my party and I don't has, believe I mean, in sex on the first date. I'm trying to figure out what empty is. But okay. And so is I'm not taking any more of these New Year's assignments. <laughs> Jacinda Miller Wilder is not her real name. No, these are these are pen names, yeah. To protect. Don't ask me for a real name either, or where she lives. To protect. But Can we get out of this segment now? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know okay. if I'm going to be speaking to you before the <laughs> thing is over here. <laughs> I haven't uh, decided. All right. But, okay. but, but really, we like them. I remember the first time when you did the story. I thought they were great. It's good to see their success. Yeah, and it's it is all self-made, and it, it's amazing. I like it. it yeah, just I goes like to it. show you what you can do. All right. Um, thanks How long for joining is he us. I was just going to say thanks. It was nice knowing you. <laughs>